Hi guys, have you ever wondered how you can use parallel processing on your drums to achieve a much thicker, warmer, and yet punchier sound? Well, that's the topic of today's video. I'm gonna show you exactly what parallel processing is and some of the techniques that I use to parallel process my drums. So let's jump straight into it. So what exactly is parallel processing? Parallel processing is where you take one channel, in my example, it's the drums, and you create multiplications of this channel via buses and then you process these buses in a slightly different way so what i would do is i would take my normal drum bus have a parallel compression channel and then a parallel attack channel so i have three replications of my drum bus so in this video i'm going to walk you through the processing i do on these extra two channels and if you stick around until the end, I wanna show you a couple of extra plugins which I use now on my main drum bus as a kind of extension to the video I did earlier on in the year showing you how I process my drums because these two extra plugins make a, a real significant difference for me on my drum processing. And the best thing about them is they're both free. Okay, so here I have a drum example set up from a track I'm working on at the moment. Let's have a listen to this. Okay, so let's break this down. We have our original drum track here. We have our drum parallel compression and our drum attack, as I said. So let's start with the drum compression. Here I've got an instance of the FabFilter Pro C2. Let's hear this in isolation. So as you can hear, that's really driving into the compressor quite a bit and kind of completely squashing it, which is exactly what I want. So I bring the threshold down. Um, not so much. Just enough to kind of create this flat sound. And I've got quite a quick attack and also quite a significantly it's quite a, quite a quick release, really. Like what I really want to do is just catch all the peaks and just bring bring them down, so we get this much flatter, overly compressed sound. Personal favorite style here is the clean. I don't know why, I just think it's got a bit more movement in it than the other ones. But that's also down to personal preference. That's my choice there. So that's it with the compressor. Nothing too complicated. But let's hear it in conjunction with the original drum bus. So as you can hear, it kind of adds loudness, really. You've got the original dynamics of the first one. In conjunction with this, you get a much louder sound, essentially. So moving on next, we've got the drum attack channel. I always find that quite a weird one to listen to in isolation. But the justification for it is that it just adds that additional transience, which allows it to be much snappier. So we just create at least overly snappy sound with a really quite extended attack and a much shorter sustain. That blended in with the other tracks just creates that little bit of extra punch and a little bit of extra presence for the overall drum track. And then I've also got the Fab Filter Pro L after it, 
also quick attack quick release in the style of punchy because that's what we're going for and yeah that's basically to just keep a hold of some of the peaks because i feel like this transient master here can be a little bit out of control So that gives us a, a nice bit of more of a flatter sound because we don't want anything too out of control on the drum track. We want things to be nice and punchy, nice and clear. So let's hear them together. So it's a subtle thing, but in the overall mix, it makes a real big difference in my opinion. So just three tracks for the drums. And now I wanna show you a couple of extra goodies I found for my drum track. So in my first video about my drum processing, I showed you how, how I used the satin and how I used the Denise noise, but now I've found a couple of extra things. So let's hear what we've got here. So first of all, we've got the McAtee, which is a really good plug plugin. It's free. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below. But what this plugin is, is essentially the simplest plugin I've ever seen. And it is just the input uh, gain control that you get on an old Mackie desk replicated in an almost like 99% exact to that sound. So yeah, really subtle, but it kind of trims off the, the transients a little bit and gives a nice little bit of distortion to the drum sound. So there's that. And the next one is this one from Slate Digital called Fresh Air. So this is like, a, as it sounds, it adds air to the, the sound it, it goes over. And it's also a free plugin. I exclusively use the high air on this one because I think I get a lot of mid range from the rest of the plugins, but this is a nice little addition to just top off on your drum track and bring up the brightness of it a little bit. So that was the video for today on parallel processing. I hope you found it interesting and please do be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and all that stuff because it really does help and I will see you in the next video.